This piece of wood right here is a template for the, the bathroom. The bathroom measures almost exactly four feet by eight feet. So this sheet of plywood at a half inch, and this is what's specced out by the, uh, the TCNA handbook on what to do when you have that solid pine plank subfloor. So you got to go a minimum of half inch um, plywood over it. So this here, as I said, is my template. Right here goes in the closet, little piece of the wall, and this here is the shape of the tub. Uh, I brought this home with me so that I guess I can do something on a Friday night. What do you guys do on a Friday night? Uh, I'm going to cut this piece of plywood out. I'm in the middle of a awesome bathroom remodel. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you should because I'm uploading pictures daily to Instagram of this uh, 1940s bathroom remodel. Uh, it's never been remodeled except for some peel and stick, um, what are those things, v vinyl squares. Um, and it, it's awesome. There's a ton of water damage. You can take a look over here. All that uh, is oak hardwood flooring that was in the bathroom since 1941. In old houses, they didn't have uh, a subfloor that you may be familiar with. They had diagonal three quarter inch by eight inch planks that go across the floor joists. And you can't set tile on there. And there is a, a handbook out there that, that tells you what you're supposed to use all things tile and their, their minimum requirement is a half inch 
plywood over the top of that, glued and screwed. So that's what I'm working on at, at home tonight. Uh, pretty much done with it. I just uh, cut this out on the plywood. The bathroom floor is actually exactly four feet by eight feet. So this entire sheet is going to go straight down. And somewhere over here, I got to cut a hole for a toilet. So I'll probably do that at the house. Not sure what the view is like. Uh, we'll see what happens when I try to get this thing in here. Got the window sill to contend with. Let's see. Toilet paper DP holder. This is my half inch plywood that goes over these planks and I got it all trimmed out and it's going to be a test fit to see where this lands in relation to this wall and that wall. I'd like it to be tight this way. I need to know where to measure from to cut my toilet hole. So I got to get it kind of in place to see where it's just going to sit in the room. It's going to go a half inch that way or half inch this way. And that makes a big difference when you're trying to cut a tight toilet hole. So I'm going to squeeze this into place and see where we fall. See how this side of the door is tight? The board needs to go this way to go tight there and tight up against the tub. In order to do that, I gotta shave some off of here. Finally time to take out the shower, uh, shower walls that is, and um, as you can see I've got a piece of OSB, the whole face, a little bit late, but um, got that all cardboarded over. This is because I'm retaining the cast iron tub, and you do not want to damage the cast iron tub. A lot of people these days are not wanting to get rid of the cast iron tub. That is a very desirable uh, feature 
in these these older houses that people are renovating. What I got here is a masonry chisel and a hammer. Um, this tile is not original. Have no, as I said earlier, don't know what to expect once I start popping these off. They could just pop right off and there could be a perfect surface for me to put new tile on with a little bit of scraping. Most likely that won't happen. What I'm expecting to do, and it's, um, I want to say it's not fun, but if you're paid enough, you don't mind it. I don't know what's behind here. Oh, I got to pop this off. Get the screws out. Oh, comes right off. I don't think they want to put the geriatric handle back in. Looks good. I'm almost getting excited because I really didn't want to tear all this off. I really haven't seen ever this much silicone before. We'll get this all pulled out. You got a feeling somewhere around here there may be a repair. And I think I can access the back side of this to put in a new mixer valve. It may be slightly higher. I'm not sure yet. Thank <laughs> you. 